Welcome back. We're with Jay McElreath from Siemens today. And Jay has given us some insight as far as uh, some of the avenues that we might have for selling the product. But today he's going to get into some of the more specifics on the different products. So let's start with pneumatics. So older technology, uh, Siemens acquired the Powers Company, which is one of the very first developers of pneumatic controls. So we've been in this business for close to 100 years. Really sounds old, but it is. Uh, but it's not going anywhere. It's, a, it's in theory a dying technology, but for some reason the market keeps growing. So there is more and more sales still available. It's not going away. So I want to just talk about some of the products that lead us into that and how they fit together and we'll add to that, okay? So first thing we have is a family of enclosures. Uh, these run from 18 inches up to 36 inches and it is simply for controls. It's, it's a big steel box with a back plate. You mount your controls in here. Typically these are pneumatics controls, but you can put anything in here you want. You can do any kind of electrical controls at all. Contactors, overloads, transformers, all electrical. But this is, originally it was specifically designed for pneumatic controllers. So not just Siemens. Not just Siemens. If it'll fit into here and has mounting holes, you can mount it into this back plane. Mm -hmm. okay? So you can build a whole system in here, not just a couple components. You'll typically find these in a control room. Sometimes they'll be mounted just randomly out on a wall, but it'll be around the controls of a system, specifically a pneumatic system. Pneumatic systems have been around for ages. Uh, you'll find them in a lot of older buildings. You still find them in a lot of schools because the maintenance is fairly simple. Um, schools, dorms, hospitals like them. Military specs are going back to pneumatics because with the new internet of things, people are becoming worried about being hacked. Mm. This is secure. There is no hacking. Mm -hmm. It's pneumatics. There's no electrical control in that controller. It's all pneumatics. Um, so that's becoming a newer New release for an old technology is its safety. Now, when we talk about pneumatics, mm -hmm. uh, I'm ignorant. Okay. So, what is operating this? Air. It's not. It's air. It's air. All air. So, first thing you have to do when you're talking about pneumatics, and this is not for your sales guys, but their customers' customers, he's going to want to know that he's got good, clean, quality air. First problem: if you don't have clean air. Pneumatics does not work, mine or anybody else's, okay? So if they're having problems, the first thing they need to do is look at their quality of their air and their air compressor supply. Do they have enough air? That's the two deaths of pneumatics. But this is all air. We calibrate this for the temperature, the range, the pressure. It's all based on pressures versus temperatures. With electrical, you're using milliamps to make those changes to a temperature. This is based on pressure, with just a pressure to a temperature. So if you want the temperature to go up, your pressure goes up. You want the temperature to go down, your pressure goes down. Unless it's heat, because heat is the opposite. Mm -hmm. okay? So it's all mechanical. So now, Jay, I go into a wholesaler, mm -hmm. and they have an interest in something like this. Yes. Well, maybe they'll have an interest in one of my integral horsepower motors to drive that compressor then also. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Still, still has fans running. Yeah. Okay. Even though this is a pneumatic controller and, and the temperatures are controlled with the air, could be that you need a motor for the compressor, but mm -hmm. they also still have fans that are running the blowers that are everywhere. That are operating. So there's where your blowers and your fans come in. Okay? okay. So again, back to this. This contains not just Siemens products, this contains all the other package products. Mm -hmm. right? You can put anything you can mount in here. This links to the fans, mm -hmm. the controllers. This will control the fans. Okay. That you're yours, okay? Uh, this is a great product. Again, Siemens is one of the founding members of the pneumatics community, or Powers is, which is now a Siemens company. This is called a retrofit, a retro line thermostat. It is a cross, all of these bags of parts make this where it replaces almost everybody that's ever made a thermostat's product. So it's a great retrofit tool. Your guys are going to call, they may get calls for a Johnson, a Honeywell, uh, people that I don't even heard of before. 
that have made this in the past, this little box right here will replace all of those. Okay, great product. Air For tube. the pneumatics. For the pneumatics. Okay. Okay, it's, it's, as you can see, there's, yes. there's no wires into the back of the thermostat. Uh huh. It's, it's air, mm -hmm. all air. Can't hack it. Mm -hmm. okay. Can't control it from your phone, but you can't hack it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Th this is an electrical actuator, but we also have pneumatic actuators. Again, you got dampers. You want to control the air from one end of the building to the other or, re or restrict where it's headed. We do that with pneumatics as well. So we have pneumatics versions of this. Actuators for valves. We have pneumatic versions of that, depending on your environment. And you may, you may have, it could be in an explosion proof area in, in an industrial oh. application. Pneumatics is not explosion proof. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Electrical could be. Mm -hmm. so, a lot of applications. Mm -hmm. Okay. So essentially, then this is controlling zoning, so to speak. Perfect. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. If this room is in use, you open the damper and it cools it. If this room's not in use, so think of it as a school campus, mm -hmm. right? Auditoriums in use, they want the air running. Auditoriums not in use, they want to close it. They don't get up there and like you do in the bathroom and close it by hand, they have a damper that closes that, mm -hmm. shuts it off. Mm -hmm. Okay, the other ap application for these guys is fresh air from outside. Mm -hmm. The environment we're in today, fresh air is gonna become more and more and more important. They close the damper to let the fresh air in and out. So a lot of times energy savings, back to energy savings, you don't have to cool air all the time. You can bring cool air from outside. Mm -hmm. So not in August in Georgia, but sometimes through the year, you can bring cool air from outside. All you do is open and close the damper. Mm -hmm. Brings it in through the, the cooling system. It's fresh air. We're gonna hear more and more in the near future, I think, with the pandemic about fresh air. Mm -hmm. So these are, these are gonna become more and more required. Now with the pneumatic then, mm -hmm. uh, are those things that you could control from off-site or they have to be controlled on-site? It can be controlled off-site. Typically these are controlled only on-site, but any building management system can do that. Okay. Right? So this would operate independently, uh, stand alone at a school, mm -hmm. hospital, whatever. But they may have a building management system that would take data back from this. It's not communicating because there is no communication. Mm -hmm. But they can take data from this, from a sensor or some other mechanism to mm -hmm. do that. Yes. So, so Jay, then when I'm in in my wholesaler, mm -hmm. and that wholesaler is working with uh, maintenance folks who work with hotels, who work with school systems, mm -hmm. who work with convention centers, who work with sports arenas. Yes. Those are the folks that. Uh, we're going to have applications right. requiring these parts. That's right. And they're going to know what they need. It's, uh, they're, they're replacing something typically. You're not going to get a lot of new installations with pneumatics, unless it's the military. But most mm. of these are going to be replacement products, right? They're going to be redoing a facility or, or a mm. space, right? A lot of times you get a big high rise, get new tenants, they redo the space. They'll replace the thermostat or the controller but they're not pulling out all the tubing and wiring in the walls. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper to replace these components than it is to pull wire and, and update it to the newest products. Huh. So, well, that's interesting. Cities, older cities, there's a lot of material like this. And typically when I think of older cities, I think of Northeast, Midwest, but Southeast has a lot of pneumatic steel. I'm, I was pleasantly surprised by that. Uh huh. Well, I appreciate that insight. And I hope that that's going to be helpful to you when you're looking at prospects for these products. And when you are in those prospects, look around on their shelves. Look for things like this. Look for tubing. Powers. If you see the name Powers, you're in the right place. Good. Well, we certainly appreciate you spending some time with Jay and I on this. And Jay, let's, uh, in our next session, let's look at a few other things. Great. Thank you. Thanks so much, Jay.